Turns out I do need to actually push the button to make things happen. And see, this is I think I've tried to play this a couple of times and I Keep ending up, sort of. Panicking. But, you know what? This is just a game. And... Nothing... Doesn't really matter. So. Let's try. Let's try doing something. This is just gonna give me the same. <laughs> uh, yes. I kind of expected that to just repeat, but it's nice to. So, okay. Examine mailbox. The small mailbox is closed. Looks like this is maybe buffering. Hmm. That's worrying. I was hoping... <laughs> I was hoping since we got put on the on the NBN a few days ago that this might actually be able to stream stably. Anyway. I've never played this game before. I am unreasonably nervous because it's a game. I've never even played a game of this kind before. Well, okay, I have I have fired this up once or twice and walked around getting nowhere because I didn't actually anyway. But Might have to adjust my settings. This really shouldn't be buffering so much. Anyway, salmon leaflet. Welcome to Zork. Zork is a game of adventure, danger, and low cunning. In it, you will explore some of the most amazing territory ever seen by mortals. No computer should be without one. Mm, I don't know. My low cunning skills are not so great. We'll see how we get by. To be honest, is inventory a command? You are carrying a leaflet. Um, I'm okay, poking about a little bit at what the commands are, because I don't... Okay, yep, I can just read that directly from the inventory. I'm not sure what the parser will actually recognize or not. And, well, rather than scroll up, in fact, I don't know if I can scroll up, around, eight moves. Okay, so looking around actually counts as a move. It's a good thing, well, it would be foolish to try and speed run something like this on my first play anyway. Um, you are standing in an open field west of a white house, okay. Well, let's see what happens if I try open door. I assume it's going to tell me that the door is boarded and I can't open it. The door cannot be opened. Uh, yes. Jen giving good advice. In fact, I remember you telling me previously that there's pretty much no penalty to just grabbing everything that you come across. Which is kind of a relief, because otherwise I would be trying to play this as a sensible random person who is not 
um, disposed to conduct themselves adventurous style and immediately grab everything not nailed down. Uh, okay, west of house. What happens if I kick the door? Kicking the door has no effect. And if I shout? Well, I shout, but nothing happens. <laughs> Okay, well, looks like, um, yeah, so on a previous occasion I tried playing this, I walked around the area trying to explore things before entering the house, and as far as I concluded it seems like there's not much of anything out here, so I'm just gonna try and go straight for the house, and, so if I go... The west is, is the house in the way? No. Yes, see, I got my directions mixed up. Go east. Oh, good! I managed to get myself lost with two movement commands. That's excellent. see. There's nothing special about the tree. If there is nothing special about the tree, then why did you single it out to me? Hmm? This, this must be that verisimilitude I've heard of. Okay, so what if I... can I follow path? I must specify a direction to go. Okay. Go north. I'm in a clearing. Okay. At leaves. Take leaves. Can I take the leaves? Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, why would you... <laughs> I am advised to count the leaves. Okay. Well, that is something I would probably not have thought to do. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm a vampire. Maybe I need to count leaves. 69,105. That is a lot of leaves to have taken. Are they going to show up in my inventory? A pile of leaves and a leaflet. Okay. <sighs> Examine... Grating? Grating is closed. Can I open it? Can I get myself killed? Unlock. I am sure I don't have means to unlock the grating, but let's try it anyway. <sighs> That's... okay. Good. Just tell me yes or no. And come on. See, I think I can unlock a grating with a pile of leaves, but you're not giving me an answer. So... <laughs> That's... this is... this is early days. Let's do something foolish. Jump on grating. Just that sentence isn't the one... isn't one of... okay. Jump. Okay. Alright. I think I've exhausted what I can do. And the path leads south, so... Go south. <laughs> um... Hmm... So... I haven't looked... I haven't looked up information about how to play this game in advance, although I did come across um, the fact that there is a leaflet in the in the mailbox by coincidence recently. Um, I'm not necessarily seeking to play unspoiled, but I'm not um, searching.
No, I'm not going to go looking for spoilers either, so... Alright, throw both. Let's. Alright. So I wanted to get a description here. So we've just come. We've just come south. We want to go further south. Hey! North of house. All the windows are boarded up. Quite a very long list of games to play. This is the first one on the list, and it's one of only a small number that was made before I was born. Well, I didn't really expect you to know on board, but um, yep. All right. So anyway, north side of the house. Let's go east, well, behind the White House. A path leads into the forest to the east. In one corner, okay. So that must be the window that I got in through the last time I tried playing this. I'm going to not do that for now. Let's, let's try following path. A small clearing. No, well, okay. East again. Okay, canyon view. You are at the top of the Great Canyon. I nearly said Grand Canyon. You are at the top of the Great Canyon on its west wall. From here, there is a marvelous view of the canyon and parts of the frigid river upstream. Across the canyon, walls of the white cliffs join the mighty ramparts of the Flathead Mountains to the east. Following the canyon upstream to the north, Aragain Falls may be seen, complete with rainbow. The mighty frigid river flows out from the great dark cavern. To the west and south can be seen an immense forest stretching for miles around. A path leads northwest. It is possible to climb down into the canyon from here. Hmm. Ah, decisions. Decisions and associated decision-related panic. I should absolutely... What am I doing? Let's go look at some more house. Oh, well, I traveled south too, too soon. Okay, now we go south. South of house. There's no door here and all the windows are boarded. And then we arrive back at West of House. Okay. What happens? Can I take mailbox? No, I cannot take mailbox. South. Go west. Oh. So I'm not thinking carefully enough about what I'm doing, and I'm. Go east. Let's go back to that canyon, and I. 
let's find out what happens if we climb down. Mm. <laughs> um, I have been convinced that overall progress means getting into the house and descending from there, which is largely why I haven't been getting or really trying to go in through that window. I have this reflexive tendency to just... If I think something is the main quest, I tend to try and clear out everything that seems to be a side quest first. <laughs> so... This is why I have not gone in through that window. I might be mistaken about which way is the main way to go, but that's that's why I haven't done that. Okay, go. Yeah, let's let's try following the path before climbing. And you're in a clear, small clearing in a well-marked forest path that extends to the east and west. No. No. Oh, okay, this is... <sighs> Go east. And, oh, right, okay, that just leads back to where I was. Alright. Climb down the canyon. Climb down. What do I... What do you want from me? What do you want from me? So it is possible to climb down into the canyon here. Okay, climb down into canyon. No, you don't know the word canyon. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, yes, we'll try that. Um, down, thank you. So just, just down. Rocky, you are on a ledge about halfway up the wall of the river canyon. You can see from here that the main flow from Aragain Falls twists along a passage which it is impossible for you to enter. Below you is the canyon bottom. Above you is more cliff, which appears climbable. Okay. Um... Pretty sparse in terms of resources, so rather than leap to my death, we go up, uh, northwest, and let's try following that to the west behind us. There we go. Alright. Now we try the window. With great effort, you open the window far enough to allow entry. Well, perhaps I'm breaking and entering. Perhaps I have... Perhaps I'm going into my own home. of the White House. A table seems to have been used recently. Uh, oh, that's good. I, I, I wasn't sure if in would work, so I went with the safe command. It's nice to know that in and out do work. A table seems to have been used recently for the preparation of food. The passage leads to the west and a dark staircase can be seen leading upward. The dark chimney leads down and to the east is a small window which is open. On the table is an elongated brown sack smelling of hot peppers. A bottle is sitting on the table. The glass bottle contains a quantity of water. Okay. Um, now if I examine this sack, the brown sack is closed. I want to take things out. A lunch and a clove of garlic. Close sack. So we want to take sack, 
and take bottle. And can I? I okay. I actually can't scroll up. We don't need to look around. Where do we want to go? Passage leads to the west. Dark staircase can be seen leading upward. Well, let's. Well, first let's. <laughs> ah, typing and talking. Take west. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Recursive containers. Very useful. Okay. Um. Yes, I tried talking at the same time and tried to take an abstract direction. Let's, let's try horizontal before vertical. We're in the living room. There's a doorway to the east. A wooden door with strange gothic lettering to the west. <laughs> Which appears to be nailed shut. A trophy case and a large oriental rug in the center of the room. Above the trophy case hangs an elvish sword of great antiquity. A battery powered brass lantern is in the trophy case. Hmm. That's interesting. I kind of like how the initial scene you get here seems very ordinary. It was it was a bit strange because I was expecting, well, Zork is a fantasy adventure, right? But this is just a house with a mailbox. It seems to be that you start in the real world and then travel to a strange fantasy land. But then it turns out we have all these strangely named rivers and waterfalls and elvish swords hanging over hanging over trophy cases. Alright, take all. Ah, okay, so I can't I can't take the rug. Trophy case. Hmm. Seven trophy case. It's empty. Read door. The engravings translate to this space intentionally left blank. Uh, that's fun. Mm. Some nice detail. So I can't take... I should have... So, we have a brass lantern, a sword, a glass bottle containing water, a brown sack, pile of leaves and a leaflet. So if we go east and then up, you have moved into a dark place. It is pitch black. You are likely to be eaten by a crew. I did not expect that quite so quickly. Uh, by the by, um, since we've had a Gru mention, I should point out that the background art it was done by Clinic on DeviantArt and is used with permission. Um, after this stream I will put a link to that in the description. Anyway, where are we? Um, so let's try... maybe I can use the lantern. You don't know the word use. Turn on lantern. This is the attic. The only exit is a stairway leading down. A large coil of rope is lying in the corner. On a table is a nasty looking knife. Hmm. Well. Take all. Rope. Your load is too heavy. Oh, okay. I can't actually carry these things anymore. Or I can't... Hmm. Am I going to have to put things down? Turn off lantern. Down. 
can I just use I for inventory? I can. Hmm. Now, thinking about things. I would think that of the items I'm currently carrying, the one that seems least likely to be useful would be the pile of leaves. What do I not need? I have no idea what I need. What do I expect to need? Appreciated hint about the trophy case, otherwise I would be leaving things on the table, probably. Uh, west, I think it was. I put the rug in the trophy case. I don't have the carpet. Okay. Um, put leaves in trophy case. Oh, so you're going to make me do this, are you? This is... This is... This is like trying to play that hack. Take off the shirt? Oh, I can't take off the shirt. I'm wearing armor over it. I have to take off the armor and then take off the shirt and then put the armor back on. Alright. Put these in case. Done. Can I see how much weight I'm carrying? If I type weight, no. Uh, burden? No. Hmm. Leaves are light, but there are a lot of them. Do I want to get rid of anything else? Those all seem like useful adventuring things. Like, you know, a, a sack for carrying lunch in, a leaflet for, um, I don't know, distracting things with. bottle for catching fairies in. Anyway, maybe. Alright, let's find out. Can I just type lantern? No. What about activate? Do you know that? Hey, cool. <laughs> so you know activate, but not deactivate. Okay. Hmm. Close window. see any sign of a test. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we have not gone down the chimney. I don't know why I need a knife and a sword, but I guess we will find out if any of that is the case. Anyway, let's see what happens if we go down. Mm. Um, yeah, sorry about the... What? I'm not allowed to go down the chimney. Okay, do I have to go find that grate then? 
I'm making a face. I just got distracted twice. Oh, yes, yes, sorry about the noise. I, I should really get a new computer. This one's giving all sorts of signs that it would like to die. Um... Alright, can I open the door from the inside? I don't expect so. Trophy case. Um, move rock. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Great effort, the rug is moved to one. Can I just, can I just put it into, the rug is, it cannot be carried. Alright. Unless it's the table, I do not know what I would have forgotten to take. No, the wood, which door do you mean? The wooden door or the trap door? It makes me happy that there was confusion there. Yes, yes, excellent. It's a shame, because I really would have liked to take that rug and maybe nail it to a wall. Anyway, open... Learn how to type. Open... I don't expect the wooden door to open, but... Yeah. I wanted to try it. Okay, open... Trap door. No, actually... East... Examine chimney. looks climbable, but I tried to climb it, and you told me I couldn't. Yeah, see? You can't look inside. Okay. Alright. Now we open the trap door. You know, when I was a kid, there was an entire show about how you should not open trap doors. The door reluctantly opens to reveal a rickety staircase descending into darkness. Hmm. So, I assume I'm. G All right, let's go down, and I assume I'll be in darkness, and then it will be lantern time. You have moved into a dark place. The trap door crashes shut, and you hear someone barring it. Oh, good. Yay! I'm trapped in the dark. <laughs> it is pitch black. You are likely to be eaten by a crew. Your sword is glowing with a faint blue gr glow. So, elvish sword, glowing blue. Um, in other contexts, that means orcs. I will follow that advice about saving. Um, let's have a look. Okay. OBS is pretty good about not um OBS is pretty surprisingly good about not exposing um my directory paths and so forth. Which was a surprise. Anyway, so we have saved. Light lamp. You are in a dark and damp cellar with a narrow passageway leading north and a crawlway to the south. On the west is the bottom of a steep metal ramp, which is unclimbable. 
I don't know, Kiss. I found your basement to be much more welcoming than this. Oh, although, um... I didn't encounter any of the things which I'm told live down there, so... Hmm. Cellar. Okay. Narrow passage. The bottom of a steep metal ramp which is unclimbable. So I don't want to... I don't want to go west. Should I examine the sword? Your sword is glowing with a faint blue glow. Hmm. Alright. There are passageway leading. Crawl away feels more vulnerable. So I would expect the usual choice to be taken to be the narrow passageway north. I wonder if that is intentional experience shaping there. Let's see what happens if I go south. Your sword is no longer glowing. Hmm. I wonder what that means. East of chasm. You are on the east edge of a chasm, the bottom of which cannot be seen. A narrow passage goes north, and the path you are on continues to the east. See, this is the trouble with games these days. They give you too many decisions, and... That just makes everything harder. Alright, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Alright. Sword is... Hmm. Sword is no longer glowing. We should believe that this has taken us to safety. Narrow passage goes north. So that's two narrow passages that lead north. So let's keep going east. Gallery. This is an art gallery. Most of the paintings have been stolen by vandals with exceptional taste. The vandals left through either the north or west exits. Fortunately, there is still one chance for you to be a vandal, for on the far wall is a painting of unparalleled beauty. Mm. Alright. Let's try vand vandalize. You don't know the word vandalize. I'm disappointed in you, Zork. This would have been a perfect opportunity to know the word vandalize. <sighs> okay. Oh. Your load is too heavy. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Brass lantern providing light. I need. I don't like that knife because it is described as nasty. Maybe I should just leave the painting. Read sword. How does one read a sword? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it had something written on it. left to either north or west exits. Alright, so I can either go back the way I came, or I can go north. Hmm. Bottle in sack. Open sack. There's no room. Okay.
All right, I cannot climb into the sack. Salmon painting. Ah, oh, yes. Why not? What's going on? What is going on? I don't seem to have the painting, but the painting no longer seems to be here. This is confusing. Let's go west, east. Nope, painting is definitely gone. Um, no, I can't load game. Yeah, hmm. Let's see. Still one chance for you to be a vandal. No, nope. load is too heavy. Can't read. No. No mention. No mention of anyone having been through there. Alright. Now where we are. It is pitch black. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. Hmm. Light lamp. Inventory. Okay, sword glowing. Alright, so we're back here. We are back in time. We've just come down into the cellar and been locked in here by someone who apparently was in the house without our noticing, even though it only had three rooms. That's kind of creepy and scary, actually. Okay, um... Hmm... Yeah... I thought I could probably... Um, safely drop things, but... It's difficult to decide what to drop. On the west is... So what happens if I go west? You try to ascend the ramp, but it is impossible, and you slide back down. Okay, I was not sure whether that ramp was leading down or up, so now I know. I was very confused by that painting disappearing. There was certainly no mention of anyone else having been through the area. south. Sword is no longer glowing. Narrow passage goes north. Oh, okay, that narrow passage north is the one I came by, so we go east. Take painting. 
Word is too heavy. Drop knife. Take painting. Taken. This time I have the painting. So, we have made progress. We have stolen many things. As far as interpreters go, this one is Gargoyle. I, there's nothing special about the painting. When you, you, said, you just said it was of unparalleled beauty, and now you're saying there's nothing special about it. So, anyway, this, uh, the program that I'm using is Gargoyle. I um, can't remember what the underlying interpreter might be. Okay. Nice to know if your load is her unlight. Lamp. Douse lamp. Am I in darkness again? Look around. Okay. Cool. So I don't need to have the lamp on anymore. Now, I think I came... I came east? Yes. I came east. So west is back the way I came. North is a different way. Let's see what happens if I... You have moved into a dark place. Okay. Light lamp. It would be nice if this game would tell me when I am no longer in a dark place. Hmm. Alright, let's try... Alright. That's probably good advice. So I have made a, no a note about dropping the knife in the gallery. Studio. This appears to have been an artist's studio. The walls and floors are splattered with paints of 69 different colours. Strangely enough, nothing of value is hanging here. At the south end of the room is an open door, also covered with paint. A dark and narrow chimney leads up from a fireplace. Although you might be able to get up it, it seems unlikely you could get back down. Loosely attached to a wall is a small piece of paper. Okay. So, it seems likely that this chimney is uh, the one I was not able to climb down from the house. So, that, I guess, would be a way to get back up. This is some kind of loop, maybe? Read paper. I'm not sure if going up would mean a confrontation with someone. Congratulations! You are the privileged owner of Zork One, the great underground empire, a self-contained and self-maintaining universe. If used and maintained in accordance with normal operating pr practices for small universes, Zork will provide many months of trouble-free operation. That's weird. That's weird. Zork Owner's Manual. Your load is too heavy. Wow. I'm traveling right on the edge. Alright, let's see. I guess I can leave that where I found it for now. Surely, leaving that bit of paper pinned to the wall. is not going to cause me trouble. After all, we know where it is. We can come back if we really need a Zork manual, I guess. So... Let's try... Um, oh, right, I already tried take all, so... And that seems to be the only thing in there. So, at least we know that that's everything there. 
In early versions of the game, there was a newspaper in the living room that had version history and news from the university where all the writers were at. That's very cool. That is very cool. Um, alright. Let's try it. Let's try up. Let's see what happens if we go there. You can't get up there with what you're carrying. I'm making another face. Alright. So. Okay. North or west exits. Let's go west. And north. You are in a dark... Oh, yep, back in the cellar. Okay, let's try north again, I think. The troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Bloodstains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. A nasty looking troll, brandishing a bloody axe, blocks all passages out of the room. Your sword has begun to glow very brightly. Hmm. Great troll. You don't know the word great. Talk to troll. The troll isn't much of a conversationalist. The troll pauses for a moment, perhaps thinking that you should reread the manual. Okay. Back in the cellar. As long as I don't do anything, time won't pass, and my light will last forever. This is one of the important lessons of Xeno's Gamer. Alright. Um, hmm. Do I have to fight troll or <laughs> hmm. Yeah. All right. Sword is no longer growing. Douse lamp. Ah, uh, still pitch black. East. Okay. Um. North. You have moved into a dark place. Light lamp. Okay. to drop. The painting seems like the obvious thing to drop to try and get through a chimney, but it's also the only thing I didn't have when I was upstairs. I mean, okay, to be explicit, I am assuming, as seemed to be the case before, that the chimney will be passable um, once I shed some amount of weight or items carried. Hmm. So let's... I don't know. Drop leaflet. Can't get up there with what you're carrying. Sack up. Nope. Put 
down bottle. <laughs> okay. So I type put down bottle just in case dropping it will lead to a bit of mean spirited interpretation and have it smash on the floor. And I just end up dropping it anyway. Can't get up there with what you're carrying. What am I still carrying? Well, the rope does seem to be... Can't get up there with what you're carrying. Drop sword. Okay, there we go. I thought I'd close that window. Oh well. West. Oh, yeah, right. Down's light. Okay. I should have turned that off earlier. is like near death, except instead of having to conserve my use of heat, I have to conserve my use of light. Um, open case. I guess I forgot to close it. Put painting in case. Close case. Case closed. You really should have said case closed. East, down, well, okay. Down, open trap door. Every time, somehow, there's just someone who lurks in that room invisible to me, and every time I go down the trap door, they lock me in. Up, oh, the trap door is closed. Well, let's go grab our things, assuming they're still there. And yay for increase of score. East. Down's light. Take all. North. Light lamp. Take all. Hurrah! I now am the proud owner of a Zork owner's manual. Also, my other things. earlier about taking that knife and going back to the grating in the forest and trying to pry it open. Maybe I should have tried that. On the other hand, maybe not. Can I go up now? I'm guessing no. No, I can't. Alright. Slight south and west light lamp north let's let's save again. After all, there's a troll or will be. That seems to be my only option. Somehow, we must deal with a troll. Um, Alright, let's... <laughs> a 
control room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Bloodstains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. A nasty-looking troll, brandishing a bloody axe, blocks all passages out of the room. Your sword has begun to glow very brightly. The axe hits your sword and knocks it spinning. Fortunately, you still have a nasty knife. Um, well... Alright, let's see what happens if I fight the troll. <laughs> Your stroke lands, but it was only the flat of the blade. The axe crashes against the rock, throwing sparks. Let's try that again. The troll is battered into unconsciousness. Well, that's an unexpected outcome. The troll stirs, quickly resuming a fighting stance. Okay. I've got my sword back. Fight troll with sword. The troll is knocked out. Hmm. Am I gonna have to kill this poor troll? Take troll. Uh, fight troll with sword. Kill troll? Okay. Kill troll with sword. The troll is disarmed by a subtle feint past his guard. The troll, angered and humiliated, recovers his weapon. He appears to have an axe to grind with you. I don't have a webcam on, but I'm smiling. Because there are puns. Time always passes, even if I'm just checking what I have. Fortunately... Fortunately, I can just scroll up to look at what I have. <laughs> um... Leaflet, a brown sack, glass bottle. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will follow this advice to the letter. Kill troll. with leaflet. Trying to attack the troll with a leaflet is suicidal. The troll swings his axe, but it misses. Uh, well, fortunately this troll is going very easy on me. Your sword... Oh, okay. The fatal blow strikes the troll square in the heart. He dies. Almost as soon as the troll breathes his last breath, a cloud of sinister black fog envelops him, and when the fog lifts, the carcass has disappeared. Your sword is no longer glowing. I was actually starting to think that, um this troll could not be killed, and that what I was supposed to do was knock it unconscious, and then take the nearest convenient exit. The 
This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Bloodstains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. There is a bloody axe here. Take all. Your load is too heavy. Clean axe. If you wish, but heaven only knows why. Someone carrying a large bag is casually leaning against one of the walls here. He does not speak, but it is clear from his aspect that the bag will be taken only over his dead body. Your sword has begun to glow very brightly. Well, that was weird. That was really weird. Like, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, is this... Is this the person who keeps locking me down here? I suspect not, but the question must be asked. Asked? 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 I don't know. However you speak, however word is. Hmm. That's... The thief is a strong, silent type. The thief pauses for a moment, perhaps thinking that you should reread the manual. Well, okay. At least now I know that this person is the thief. So I've learned something. <laughs> Can't take that axe without giving something up. Maybe I should just go somewhere else. Hmm. Yes. It would be nice to get an option for a game over if you have rendered the game unwinnable. That's the kind of thing that it is nice to know. So, we are advised to not kill this person. This thief. Hmm. I should go somewhere. West or east? Hmm. Well, previously I went south when I thought that that was the less obvious place to go. Let's go into the Forbidding Hole. Maze. This is part of a maze of twisty little passages all alike. Your sword is no longer glowing. I'm not a fan of mazes. If I turn the light off... Okay, it is now pitch back. Black light lamp. This is part of a maze of twisty little passages, all alike. Uh, rather than maze, let's try... Um... Name that 
Leia calls Elara behind her back. Hmm. I'm not sure how well I can be inventive with names at the moment, but if I think of something, Amy, I will let you know. Alright, let's try the east. East-west passage. Um... Well, okay, let's 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 make a note. Um Troll Room. And we can delete the note about where the knife was left because it is no longer left there. Okay, narrow stairway leading down at the north end of the room. Um, down. A chasm runs southwest to northeast and the path follows it. You are on the south side of the chasm where a crack opens into a passage. That's that's a little bit confusing to try and process which directions I can go in. Um, chasm run. Okay, on the south side. Let's try southwest. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. Northeast. Reservoir South. You are in a long room on the south shore of a large lake, far too deep and wide for crossing. There is a path along the stream to the east or west, a steep pathway climbing southwest along the edge of a chasm, and a path leading into a canyon to the southeast. Now, is it dark here? It is still. It is still dark. Okay. Alright. So we're on the south shore of a large lake. There's a path along a stream to the east or west. But definitely the control room. Amy. Amy, there are enough puns in this game. It's okay. <laughs> I'll read that out loud. Do they have a room for trolls who are negative all the time? Named the control room. There. Now everyone else has to deal with that too. So. Yes, this is definitely feeling like the sort of game where maybe I should have a pad of paper alongside me to make a map with. But we'll see. We'll see how well I go without. Okay, path along the stream to the east or west. A steep pathway climbing southwest. So that's the one we just came. And a path leading into a canyon to the southeast. Right, let's try the southeast. I wonder if that will take me outside. You are on the south edge of the deep canyon. Passages lead off to the east, northwest, and southwest. A stairway leads down. You can hear the sound of flowing water from below. Yeah. Hmm. Lots of places to go. Hmm. Passages later. Okay. Hmm. 
So we came. Let's go southwest. Right, let's find it. This is this is a high north-south passage which forks to the north east. South, round room. This is a circular stone room with passages in all directions. Several of them have unfortunately been blocked by cave-ins. So I can go in any direction. Uh, this is reminding me of flipping through Choose Your Own Adventure books when I was in high school. Which I guess is fair. So if I go south, south, mirror room. Why? Uh, okay. All right. Okay. This game is stubbornly not going to give me an end of direction, so let's go back up. <laughs> okay, alright, let's, we'll go back down and see the mirror room. Okay, look in mirror. There is an ugly person staring back at you. That's cruel, Zork. I'm wounded. Talk to person. What happens if I... You can't see any person here. Alright. North. 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 Northeast. Back to the canyon. <clears throat> So, you could borrow insults from Harry Potter about um, bloodline purity or muggleness. I guess. <sighs> okay. Back to the canyon. So we came from the northwest. We've gone to the southwest. Like, yeah. Um, let's see. Um, yep. So we came from the northwest. We've been to the southwest, and I have abandoned that as very complex. So let's take the east. <laughs> yes, it's okay. I talk slowly, but I w I was leading. I I was heading towards the east. Okay. Dam. You are standing on the top of the flood control dam number three, which was quite a tourist attraction in times far distant. There are paths to the north, south, and west, and a scramble down. The sluice gates on the dam are closed. Behind the dam, there can be seen a wide reservoir. Water is pouring over the top of the now abandoned dam. There is a control panel here, on which a large metal bolt is mounted. Directly above the bolt is a small green plastic bubble. Okay. Cool. So I found somewhere that I can take the turn the lantern off. So Amy says, "Go yeast, young bread." No. No, Eva. No. Nope. Okay. Looks 
salmon bubble. There is nothing special about the green bubble. Bolt, it is an integral part of the control panel. Damn, an interesting idea. Green bubble, it is an integral part of the control panel. Okay, so I can't take anything here. That's kind of a relief, because I seem to be pretty consistently right at my burden limit. Now, what I'm thinking is that we want to open the sluice gates and let a lot of water through the dam. Lower the levels there. So first choice, let's try slide bolt. If that doesn't work, we might try pushing the bubble. Slide bolt under bubble. You can't do that. I like that. Slide bolt. What do you want to slide the bolt under? That's like Ozymandias' password in, in Watchmen. Like, this is incorrect, but perhaps you'd like to do something similar? Push bubble. Pushing the green bubble isn't notably helpful. Pull bolt. Turn bolt. What do you want to turn the bolt with? Uh, what do I... Oh, hey, I've got a score of 50 instead of 45. I guess that maybe was for killing the troll. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. Sword rounds. Turn on controls. Can't turn that on. Pull bolt. Now I could try applying a knife or something to that. Uh, maybe. Maybe this is not a puzzle to solve. We're not going to give up yet, though. Come from the east, that would be west. So west is back the way we came. Alright, let's try north. Dam lobby. This room appears to have been the waiting room for groups touring the dam. There are open doorways here to the north and east marked private, and there is a path leading south over the top of the dam. Some guidebooks entitled Flood Control Dam Number 3 are on the reception desk. There is a matchbook whose cover says Visit Beautiful FCD Number 3 here. Read guidebook. Flood Control Dam Number 3. FCD Number 3 was constructed in year 783 of the Great Underground Empire to harness the mighty Frigid River. This work was supported by a grant of 37 million Zorkmids from your omnipotent local tyrant, Lord Dimwit Flathead the Excessive. This impressive structure is composed of 370,000 cubic feet of concrete, is 256 feet tall at the center, and 193 feet wide at the top. The lake created behind the dam has a volume of 1.7 billion cubic feet, an area of 12 million square feet, and a shoreline of 36,000 feet. 
we will now point out some of the more interesting features of FCD number 3 as we conduct you on a guided tour of the facilities. 1. When you start your tour here in the damn lobby, you will notice on your right that... I guess we're out of guidebook now. Read matchbook. Close cover before striking. You too can make big money in the exciting field of paper shuffling. Mr. Anderson of Muddle Mass says, Before I took this course, I was a lowly bit twiddler. Now, with what I learned at GUE Tech, I feel really important and can obfuscate and confuse with the best. Dr. Blank had this to say. Ten short days ago, all I could look forward to was a dead-end job as a doctor. Now I have a promising future and make really big zork mints. GUE Tech can't promise these fantastic results to everyone, but when you earn your degree from GUE Tech, your future will be brighter. Uh, wow, okay, I can't take the matchbook. Um... Guidebook. Take matchbook. I'd rather have the matchbook. Hmm. That's an interesting change. I think. See, this is, this is important to weed out the people who don't take things literally. It's nice to be welcomed in a game. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's read that out. So, just reading out regarding the matchbook. In early versions of Zorks, it mentioned to send away for our pamphlet, and it was actually the last treasure to get to finish the game. You had to literally say, send away for a pamphlet. It was in the mailbox when you checked it, and had to be put in the trophy case. So, apparently that is no longer the case. Hmm. All right. So, probably want to put that. Tr probably that guidebook would go well in the trophy case. Maybe I should leave something else here. Okay, damn lobby. There are open doorways here to the north and east. And there's a path leading south over the top of the dam. Alright, let's try north again. You have moved into a dark place. It is pitch black. You are likely to be eaten by a group. Maintenance room. This is what appears to have been the maintenance room for Flood Control Dam Number Three. Apparently, this room has been ransacked recently, for most of the valuable equipment is gone. On the wall in front of you is a group of buttons colored blue, yellow, brown, and red. There are doorways to the west and south. There is a group of tool chests here. There is a wrench here. There is an object which looks like a tube of toothpaste here. There is a screwdriver here. Hmm. Can I take any of these things? I think I'm... The chests are so rusty and corroded that they crumble when you touch them. And for everything else... I'm carrying too much. Alright. I think I should try and find my way up. Oh. 
Maybe I'll just stash almost everything that I have in there in that case and come back for a bunch of things. Alright, light off. That sentence isn't one I recognize. That's okay. Turn off lamp. Okay. Save. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to get to these places. West light lamp. Southwest Go Southwest Go Southwest again. West patrol room. South South East. House lamp. Hmm. Up. Can't get up there with what I'm carrying. Okay. What are the things I want to keep? Now, I may be making a bad assumption here. Which is that a matchbook contains matches and can be used as a source of fire and light, which is why I'm wanting to preserve it. So... Let's drop the things we want to carry with us. So I really have to only carry two things at a time. This is very tedious. Get lantern. Oh hey, that thief is here again. Leaflet. You just want to make my life difficult. You parry a lightning thrust, and the thief salutes you with a grim nod. useful information 
we have the trapdoor staying open once I find another way to the surface. But it also means puzzle, which means thinking, which is a skill that I am rusty at. Alright. Uh, stop attacking me, you thief. Okay. I'm gonna keep grabbing items or items. I've got three things. So let's try going up. Can't I'm assuming that the grating that I found in the forest is another way up and down. And currently thinking about whether to <laughs> The thief finding nothing of value left disgusted. Anyway, alright. Thief is gone. Um, may or may not be drawn to putting things on the ground. Seems to leave once I take them back off the ground. Seems to exist to make... Uh, to make the game more... complicated into some sort of river crossing puzzle. Question. The question that I was puzzling over earlier then is whether I can pry open the grating with something I already have or if I need to find something else. Mm. That would be Let's find out. Okay. Can't pry the grating open. Well, that's... I mean, that's an answer. Alright. So, basically, I can take one thing at a time up there. which would take a while. It would be a bit repetitive. I could get up there more reliably. Once I find some other way to do that. Is it, how much juggling is it worth? Let's do a bit of juggling now and get some more space. Get, get lantern. Get leaflet. Yeah, Star Wars is really bad at um, insults. Open case, put leaflet in case, close case, 
open trap door down. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I should probably be a bit less fastidious. East. North. Yep, there you go. Okay. So we're at about the 1 hour 40 mark at the moment. I'm thinking once we get to 2 hours, I'm going to save this and be done for the day. Hopefully, I will have done a little bit more than... A little bit more than making this circuit several times by then. Um, what did, what did, what did I get? Put manual in case. Open trap door. Okay, so that is a bit helpful. I was planning to keep the sword and the lamp with me. Those seem like things that when you need them, you really need them immediately. It's too bad, um, it seems like I can't permanently light this studio room, otherwise, well, things would be easier. Up, west, put knife in case, open, trap door, down, South, east, north. Get rope. So I should have, yeah. So my life would have been much easier if before descending I'd put nearly everything I was carrying in the case. If I ever play this again, I hope I will remember that. Put rope in case. Open trap door. Down, south, east, north. Get sack. Up, west. Put sack in case. Open trap door down and I think we are done with I think we are done with that I'm gonna hold on to the matchbook for the time being west north north and all right back in the troll room Hey, now I can get the axe. I tried to clean it earlier. Apparently it doesn't clean. <coughs> I 
let's go back to that dam. That was an interesting dam. If I can work out how. Because we want east. Narrow stairway leading down at the north end. I don't think I noticed that stairway. Oh, there we go. We are back in the round room. I didn't expect to find Ha <sighs> that's a surprise. So I've gone I've gone a different way than I did. But I do remember I went north. Okay, so that's a little bit of interconnectedness. Princess Expendable. Uh, east, that was where we went. Okay, we're back to the dam. You are standing. Okay. So these gates are closed. Turn off lamp. I've probably been using a lot of superfluous lit turns, but oh well. So, north, dam lobby, and north again, light lamp. Alright, let's go take all. So we've got a tube of something and a screwdriver. The wall in front of you is a group of buttons colored blue, yellow, brown, and red. So, maybe I can push those buttons, but maybe I shouldn't push those buttons until I have some idea of what they might do. South, douse lamp, and what was the other door? East. Light lamp. Okay. <coughs> Maintenance room. This is what appears to have been the maintenance room for flood control dam number three. Apparently this room has been ransacked recently, for most of the valuable equipment is gone. On the wall in front of you is a group of buttons colored blue, yellow, brown, and red. There are doorways to the west and south. Okay. South, right? Get all. I've got the guidebook. Alright. I thought I... South, dam lobby, east, no, maintenance room. I think I've got turned around there. Doors to the north and east marked private. So, east maintenance room. West. North maintenance room. Okay, alright, so that, okay, that's just a big room. That kind of surrounds the lobby. I see. Okay, so 
that's a thing. <sighs> okay, down slamp. South control panel. White. Oh, okay, that's why there was intervention in the maintenance room. I thought there was something missing from the maintenance room. Um, the wrench has... While I was gone, apparently the wrench has moved to the dam. That's actually... That's weird and unsettling. And... That's something I'm not used to from newer games, which is very cool. It seems like in games made later on, stuff either preserves indefinitely where you leave it, or it decays over time. Hmm. <laughs> okay, or well, maybe I... I don't think I... I did drop it in there, but damn, a valiant attempt. My load is too heavy. Okay. Okay. Well, let's drop the axe. I don't really need it. Get wrench. Turn. Actually, I'll save the game before doing anything. Alright. Turn bolt with wrench. The bolt won't turn with your best effort. Um... Oh yeah, that's what I meant to do. Read tube. Furbaz Magic Gunk Company. All-purpose gunk. Well... Is that? What's in the... Do we have a green button in the maintenance room? No, we don't. Could be a colour sequence puzzle. Studio. Okay, the last time I was in the dam. Okay. The last time I was in the dam, the wrench was not there.
Okay. I've scrolled back through and it looks like indeed I did not drop the wrench in the dam room. It, um, it seemed it, it moved there on its own between the last time I visited it. Um, between uh, when I left to go clear out my inventory and when I came back the wrench moved into the dam room. That's... Um, anyway, I've just saved, so... Use gunk on... Oh yeah, that's right, you don't... You don't know the word. Squirt gunk on. I'm probably overly fixating on this bolt. That's something I've seen people... That's something I've seen people do when streaming puzzle games, is they get fixated on a particular thing as a solution or an instrumental aspect of a puzzle when that isn't the case. Uh, yeah, that's... okay. So if that isn't supposed to be happening in the game as normal, then that's a bit concerning. And yes... yes, I hope that doesn't end up breaking. That would be very disappointing if the game ends up breaking. Alright. Look around. Activate controls. No. Uh, let's try. I, I, I tried use. Use tube. Yeah. Uh, the parser says it doesn't know use. Y tube to bolt. You can't do that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, da -da. Maybe I need to go somewhere else. Actually, what else am I carrying? Screwdriver? Y screwdriver to bolt. You can't do that. Turn bolt with screwdriver. Put gunk on bolt. You don't have that. Squeeze tube. Oh, open tube. Opening the tube reveals a viscous material. It's tube on bolt. Squeeze tube. Rub viscous material on bolt. That sentence, okay. Put viscous material on bolt. Put gunk on bolt. There's no good surface on the bolt. Uh, put gunk on control panel. There's no good surface on... Put gunk back in tube. <laughs> put gunk in tube. The tube refuses to accept anything. Hmm. Or let's go back in time. Alright. Look around. You are standing on the flood control dam number three, which was quite a tourist attraction in times far distant. There are paths to the north, south, and west, and a scramble down. These loose gates on the dam are closed. Behind the dam, there can be seen a wide reservoir. Water is pouring over the top of the now abandoned dam. There is a control panel here on which a large metal bolt is mounted. Directly above the bolt is a small green plastic bubble. There is a bloody axe here. Hmm. And I'm carrying 
a wrench, a Torah guidebook, a screwdriver, a tube, a matchbook, a sword, and a brass lantern. Alright, now... Let's see, I came from the west, I've been north. Let's try south. You have moved into a dark place. Deep canyon. You're on the south edge of a deep canyon. Uh, I think I've been there before. North. I just... What? Northwest. What's going on here? These directions don't seem to be connecting up. Swim in lake. Swimming isn't usually allowed in the lake. Is it allowed now? No? Okay. East. Well, okay. Back here. Lamp. Hmm. Screwdriver to control panel. Can't do that. Alright. Probably have to do something else. Wrench. Hit control panel with wrench. I've known strange people, but fighting a control panel? Well, I wasn't trying to fight the control panel, I just thought... In... In movies and television, all of the time, people hit a control panel with a wrench and it starts working. But no. I guess we're supposed to be logical here. So... North, south, and west, and a scramble down. Alright, let's see what happens if I go down. Dam base. You are at the base of flood control dam number three, which looms above you and to the north. The river Frigid is flowing by here. Along the river are the white cliffs, which seem to form giant walls, stretching from north to south along the shores of the river, as it winds its way downstream, there is a folded pile of plastic here, which has a small valve attached. Oh, pile of plastic. Salmon pile of plastic. Nothing. Okay, turn, valve. Turn valve with wrench. You can't turn that. Can I go up? Oh cool, I can go up. Um, hmm. North, north, light lamp. Mm, just the buttons. Oh well, let's try pushing buttons. Push blue button. 
There is a rumbling sound, and a stream of water appears to burst from the east wall of the room. Apparently, a leak has occurred in a pipe. The water level here is now up to your ankles. Cool. Let's drown. Let's drown. Push yellow button. Click. The water level here is now up to your shin. The lamp appears a bit dimmer. Push. Red button. The lights within the room come on. The water level here is now up to your shin. Push. Brown button. The water level is now up to your knees. Maintenance room. <sighs> Use tube on. Leak. Nope. To leak. Can't do that. Squeeze tube on leak. No. Nope. Squeeze tube. Oh, open tube. Squeeze tube. Rub gunk on leak. What happens? No. Nope. By some miracle of Zorkian technology, you have managed to stop the leak in the dam. South. South lamp. And south. Well, maybe I should go push more buttons. Can't turn that on. Push blue button. The blue button appears to be jammed. Okay. Push brown button. Hmm. Douse lamp. Oh, it's already off. Okay, cool. South and south. Turn bolt with wrench. The bolt won't turn with your least effort. Turn. Mm -hmm. Turn bolt with screwdriver. Bolt won't turn using the screwdriver. Turn bolt. Turn bolt with hands. <laughs> the bolt won't turn using the pair of hands. You are carrying a viscous material. Wow. Well, I pushed a few buttons. Push brown button. Push yellow button. Push blue button, which is jammed, and push red button. Push red button. Ah. 
Okay. one was it? It's the... That's the jammed one, isn't it? The blue one is jammed. We don't seem to get a second link. The light is glowing. Which, there we go. <laughs> we have finally, with much flailing around, managed to get water through the dam. So look around. You are standing on the top of the flood control dam number three, which was quite a tourist attraction in times far distant. There are paths to the north, south and west and a scramble down. The sluice gates are open and water rushes through the dam. The water level behind the dam is still high. There is a control panel here on which a large metal bolt is mounted. Directly above the bolt is a small green plastic bubble, which is glowing serenely. There is a bloody axe here. Okay. Well, I think that is enough Zork for me tonight. I am a bit worn out, and we have just managed to accomplish something, so that is a good feeling spot to leave it on, I think. So, I shall save the game. And then we shall leave it there. Um, that was pretty fun, especially actually having people around to talk with. That was that was nice since I'm mainly streaming in order to play games socially with people and have some fun. Um, I'm not sure when the next time I'll be able to play will be, because I'll be working for most of the next week, but we shall see. And thank you again, everyone, for fun times.